Hey everybody, John with OWL. Today we are gonna install the OWL Super Bass Horn Kit on this van. Now this van already has a horn kit on it, but I'm gonna go through the steps anyway so that you can learn how to do it yourself. It's an incredibly easy install. Definitely one of those, you know, uh, Sunday afternoon to put the football game on your headphones and swap out your horn, make it sound awesome. All right, so I'm gonna set you down here so you can watch me go to work. The first thing we're gonna do is take off this grill. Now, uh, the different Mercedes vans have different ways of um, accessing or removing the grill. On uh, our Revel, you can simply twist this uh, Mercedes emblem. It rotates and pulls out. <coughs> Excuse me. On this van, uh, it is all one piece. So we're gonna have to remove these hex bolts. There is um, one, two, three, I believe, and then some tabs below and uh, that requires a Torx. What size is it? Too small. All right, we are looking at a T20. For people that don't know what a Torx is, it's that, can you see that? It's kind of like an Allen, but with more sides on it. These are very popular. If you don't have it, get a set for your Mercedes. So we're just gonna take these out real quick. Now the great thing about the OWL horn kit is that the wiring harness plugs directly in to the Mercedes kit. So you don't need to uh, splice any wires, crimp anything, solder anything. It's really easy. It's just, uh, it's just a plug and play. Like I said, it's a simple, you know, 15, 20 minute mod, assuming getting your grill off is, uh, takes a little while. So this one just popped out pretty easily. There are some more uh, kind of plastic snaps on the bottom. All right, so now you can kind of see how these tabs work. You see it's got one of these, it's got a little lip on the side and I just press down on that and pull it straight out. There is one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the three bolts on top. So putting the horn kit together is fairly straightforward. You get this bracket like this with some uh, Allen bolts at the bottom, and then you're gonna get two horns. It doesn't matter which side they go on, one is a 330 hertz, the other is a 400. It gives you a, a really nice full sound, almost like a symphony, if you will. All right, so what we're gonna do is take these bolts out. And again, it doesn't really matter where you put the horns. All right, tighten those down nice and snug. You don't want those to move. Now we are going to install our little wiring harness on this. So this is the harness that comes with your kit. You can see how nice this is. It's a nice uh, braided harness with a factory plug. And then you've got two, this kind of cool, two different length um, connectors because one horn is farther away than the other. Little details matter. And we're gonna plug this in. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect this to the horns before we install it. Now you gotta understand this is gonna go this way. So you wanna connect the short one to the one closest to where the harness starts, which is that side. So for the first horn, again, we're connecting the shorter length to the first horn. We're gonna do brown on top, blue on the bottom. And all that really matters here is that you're consistent. So for the farther away horn, And it's really simple, you just slide those connectors on and then your harness goes that way. Now to mount this to the vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to take out some bolts right here and here. Again, these are a Torx. It's actually the same Torx that we used to take uh, the van grill off. So you just take these out, pretty easy. Once those are out, you are gonna take your horn kit and you're gonna put it right in that spot. 
grab one of those bolts back, and then drop it on the ground. All right, just snug these down, not crazy tight, but tight enough. Hey everybody, a little supplemental video for the horn bracket and a 2023 van. So on the 2023, this hole right here is slightly higher. So if you try to mount this in the standard way, you can see that the hole uh, doesn't line up. But what you can do is actually just reverse the bracket this way. And then the hole lines up and you can still put this part that holds the... Uh, that kind of center bar that holds the camera you can put back in place and so the bracket is just reversed on a 23 it's really just that simple uh, and then you just mount the horns as you would normally uh, the bolts will just be coming from the back forwards as opposed to from the front to the back shouldn't make any difference then you're going to take this harness let me pull you in closer which is currently connected to your anemic factory horn proper so you can see now our connector and their connector, the Mercedes connector, plugged together. I'm going to do this one-handed since I'm holding the phone. Voila. And then what you can do is just kind of zip tie this back over here. Clean it up with a couple of zip ties so it's not dangling. And then we can try out our horn. All right. I'm going to interrupt this normal install video uh, with a little bit of cable tie knowledge. This is a standard cable tie, and I hate them because once you zip tie them and clip this end off, it's sharp, it's sharp forever. No matter how tight you try to clip it, it's sharp forever. This is what's called a low profile cable tie or a low profile zip tie. And the cool thing about this is as you tighten it, it lays down like that. So you don't have that little um, arm cutter opener sticking out. I love these things, low profile cable ties. If you're ever in the market to buy them on Amazon, buy the low pro ones. So now we're going to use some of these. Zip tie this stuff back. Fairly easy to do. Not rocket science. And dear God, clip the ends off. I just, that drives me nuts. When people cable tie stuff, zip tie stuff, and they just let the ends sit there, I, I can't deal with that. So before we put the grill back on, because I'm an impatient man, we're gonna try the horn. All right, we're ready for our super scientific comparison. I am going to start with the factory horn. And now the super bass.